previous evidence of Sly Cooper may have been proven true, as well as a little hint that could mean, well, everything. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Canadian Gaia here, and back with a brand new Sly Cooper video. More and more evidence has been stacking up for the comeback of Sly Cooper. The biggest breakthrough is when a leaker by the name of Nick had leaked that Sly Cooper 5 is in development. Now this leak was met with praise, but also met with levels of criticism and doubt. But one of the things that he leaked was that we would be seeing God of War close to the end of the summer. When the showcase was announced in September, he piped up saying that this was the show that Ragnarok was being shown off. And lo and behold, God of War Ragnarok was there. So. If Nick got that right, it further pushes the evidence that he has legitimate sources, which in turn grants even more credibility to his Sly Cooper leak. But there's something else besides the word of a leaker. Now, I'm going to need you to hold on because this is very interesting, but it is a bit lengthy and we're going to go a little bit off the beaten path from Sly Cooper. During the PlayStation presentation, there was an interesting intro. It was an overdramatized chess game between two kings. In it, we are in the city of black and white and the pawns of these two kings are duking it out in real time. As the trailer begins, you can start to see pictures of different Sony IPs from Uncharted to God of War to Horizon, but we see these as big posters and it's very easy to see. But even if you pay just a little more attention, you can start to see other IPs from other games, even outside of the PlayStation family. Now, God of War and Uncharted had a huge presence in this trailer. That's because they were shown off in the showcase, but the big important aspect to this is that they are confirmed to be coming. In a previous video, I started to point some of these other details out and what they could mean. For example, take a look at this poster on this wall. We can see that it's a fall guy with an Aloy skin. But here's the interesting thing. There isn't a skin for Aloy in Fall Guys, at least not yet. Now, Fall Guys has done this before with Ratchet and Clank, bringing in brand new skins for the Robot and Lombax around the time of release of the Ratchet and Clank game, meaning that in the future, when Horizon Forbidden West comes out, it's not far to assume that a brand new skin will be dropped for Fall Guys. This trailer kind of just confirms it because, well, it's right there. Why would they put content for a third party game that's part of their first party that's not going to be there? It doesn't make sense. But the more that you go through this trailer, the more that you start to see more of a pattern. In the train station on the giant ticker, we see Valsthea 616. Valsthea is the setting of Final Fantasy 16, a game that is announced but not yet released. Up here, we actually see a Sonic ring and beside it, a blue sign, and beside that, a yellow sign that has the number two on it, which could very easily be a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, whom introduced Tails. But not just that, we know that Sonic has a brand new game coming out that, well, due to leaks from 4chan, fans are calling Sonic Rangers, but we have no formal information from Sega about the game and no release date yet. Over on the helicopter where the White Queen is, we literally have stickers from Wumpa League, Crash Bandicoot's upcoming PvP game that I have been talking about for a few months now. There is also a Final Fantasy VII graffiti piece, and we know that part two is going to be coming soon. But what are these hints all meaning and leading to? Simply put, this trailer is showing off content that is already out and content that is going to be coming out in the future. Another huge example is Temtem, an indie MMO that's heavily influenced by Pokemon. They made a quote retweet of the trailer to say to enhance at 36 seconds for a tiny spoiler. Now, if you go there, you actually can see two Temtem that have not been announced or shown off yet seemingly to confirm the theory that tiny easter eggs in this trailer does indicate some sort of a meaning of future content that's not announced or released yet. Now, 
This is not the first time that PlayStation has done this. Back during a PlayStation commercial before, Crash Bandicoot was ripping through a parking garage in his cart. But take a look in the background. At the time, we did not know that this was Kapunawa, a brand new mask that would be introduced in Crash Bandicoot 4. But because Crash Bandicoot 4 was not yet announced, this was a tease towards that future title. Now, you have gotten to this point, wondering, okay, what does any of this have to do with Sly Cooper? Well, if you have a set in Eagle Eyes, when the motorcycle scene starts and they pass by this restaurant, if you stop here, take a look right down here. What's that symbol? Could it be? Is it the legendary Sly Cooper logo? Ladies and gentlemen, I propose this thought to you. If every Easter egg that's placed in this video is a reference to something that is currently active or in active development in some way, shape, or form, then seeing this logo would signify that Sly Cooper content is coming. Now, if you think that these Easter eggs are just Easter eggs and nothing else, why would they put Wumpa League stickers on the side of a helicopter and not just Crash Bandicoot? People don't even know about Wumpa League yet, and yet they're advertising and teasing towards that specific title. Wouldn't it be more recognizable to just put Crash Bandicoot? No, they put on Wumpa League, something that only fans would recognize. And it also just so happens that the Wumpa League coin that was revealed was revealed earlier on the same day when this trailer dropped. Isn't that a bit of a weird coincidence? Now. I'm about to make a comment though, that's going to hurt my own feelings. So if you get upset, trust me, I'm upset too. Here is another point. Why would Sony choose Sly Cooper over, I don't know, Jack and Daxter? Jack and Daxter has had a lot more commercial success and has a much bigger brand recognition. Well, sadly, Naughty Dog has gone on record to say that they are just not interested in developing anything for the Jack and Daxter series. I think that the lack of interest translates into the lack of representation in the trailer. And because, well, it seems like no Jack and Daxter content is coming soon, that would mean that nothing showed up in the trailer. The evidence of Sly Cooper's existence is rising. Do you think Sly Cooper is preparing for a comeback? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.